What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about auto send reminder. By default, this will be off. If you turn it on, VIP Shop Management will basically send your 20 in 24 hours in advance, uh, confirm your appointment and send your reminders automatically. Uh, even if you have a reminder to, to buy some flowers for your wife, we will remind you. So make sure you add that reminder and put your cell phone there automatically. You don't have to do anything. It, if this one is on, that's it. You're all set. If you don't want, if you decide you don't want, for some people you don't want to send a reminder, it's really simple. Just click on that and just, you know, the status right now is there, but I can switch it to do not confirm. If the status now it says do not confirm, VIP will skip that. Even if you can't try to come here and send a reminder, it's going to say, oh, the appointment is set to do not confirm. So you're all set and it, as simple as that. Another thing, if you notice that we added the assigned technician, so now, now you can assign technician. Not just that, when you create an estimate for this vehicle, look what's gonna happen. It's gonna assign the technician automatically right here. Look, so assigned technician is already assigned even when you create an estimate from appointments, which is really cool. Um, I did change it a little bit here to make it easier on you guys, so you can switch between these as simple as that. So if you wanna switch, who's the technician? um uh, let's go back to scheduling uh, right here i do want to demonstrate what is reminders and what is the idea of reminders reminders are very important reminders are just like the coupon that you used to pay 500 dollars a month for uh, yellow books in the weirdest way possible this is way better this is your own customers and this is a reminder let's say let's say i did a smog test today and i need it 11 months from a year from now we'll send him a reminder 11 months from now to my hey come get the smog test here and that's what reminders all about eventually we're gonna add we're gonna set reminders to can jobs where, where you can set a can, can job let's say for a smog test 11 months from now and vip will add the reminder automatically we will do that for sure as of right now let's see how this works you gotta add the reminders manually and let's let me move myself here and let me let me show you let me send this reminder to this phone right here let me show you how this whole thing work so i want to send this reminder which is vip is going to send it like automatically like i said but let's send it manually right now and i'm bringing myself here so we can do both things do we get a message yep we get the message right there this is the reminder right here the customer basically, let me bring the phone, sorry. The customer basically will click on the link. He doesn't have to type anything. He just schedules, say, I can't, I want to come in on Friday. And we only requesting an appointment. I know some of these services trying to uh, make it, make the customer thinking like it's a, it's a haircut place where you can re make an appointment. You can't make an appointment at an auto repair shop because we don't know if we work on your car. We don't know if you, if, what kind of customer you are. We don't know if we're busy or not. There's so much to it. You can't just, it's not a haircut place, man. Schedule the time, say I wanna come in at two. Next, it's already written what I'm here for because you, I send it to him, right? Request an appointment and it's all set. And as, as you're working right here, it will show up right here. Let me just close this. While, while we're waiting for this, I do wanna talk about confirm appointments right here. Uh, it, this one basically right now if you want to print this to your technician because now it has a technician who's assigned on it right so if you if you work if you this is how you work you can print this now and even make it where you can see it first before you print it and you can give it to your technician to see who's working on, on what time and all this stuff so um, what else I want to talk about so the confirm appointments obviously confirm appointments only will show appointments not it, it be, be before it used to show appointments and reminders nope we separated we separated this uh, completely so if you go to reminders it's only reminders see that all right so we get the notification right here let me move myself here let's check it out real quick so now here we go we have an old all temperature uh, appointment requested and let's go back here and let's just click on on uh, the notification right here and so let's just go ahead always usually always accept it and then de decide later right accept and uh, let's see it's right there so this is the one right here i mean i can see like okay is this should i keep it here should i move it whatever it is 
that's fine. If I kept it, that's fine. Let's let's put it back on 2 p.m. And if I'm okay with it, and I can do the job, that's another thing. I can do the job. Cars is it's unlimited. There's stuff that only special people work on it. Special people. All right. Let's go ahead and bring this right here. And then confirm the appointment. I can assign the technician here. I say I want Mark to work on this. And then confirm the appointment. And then click on text message. And then let's see. We're going to get the massage. There we go. We get the message right there. So you see. Request and confirmation. See that? Request and confirmation. All done without typing anything. This is the future. Thanks for watching. Enjoy it today.